How did Tuesday treat you? Hmm? Next up is Hump Day, and then it's all downhill coast, right? As always, this is your boy Money Flipping Matt Richards coming at you with the questions that confound and the big money mound. The pile of money. Yeah. Swimming at Scrooge McDuck style. Did anybody see the Blue Angels today? Huh? They flew over a few cities New York, Philly, a little bit of Jersey. Oh, it was a tribute to the frontline workers. It was money. We can't ever do enough to thank the heroes of the front lines of the pandemic. So thanks again, once again, for all your hard work. I know I appreciate y'all. And I'm sure everybody playing right now does too. Uh, if any of you are watching, we're always thinking of you and, and, and super grateful. And the other thing we're always doing is putting up some scratch for whoever finishes the match. I'm talking $5,000 about to be split up among all of you who tap 12 right answers in a row. 
easy as that. Will you be among the elite, or will your brain suffer defeat? And tonight, we're spotlighting a charity that's doing incredible work in these tough times. Tonight, it's Fountain House. Helping people with mental illness achieve their full potential. Founded in New York City, Fountain House addresses the devastating impact of serious mental illness. Over 1,600 members a year come to Fountain House to contribute their talents, learn new skills, access opportunities, and force, forge new friendships. They're not forcing friendships, they're forging them. Yeah! In the wake of COVID-19, they're now creating a virtual clubhouse where members can stay connected and know that they're still not alone during a trying time for them and the rest of the world. We love it so much, we can't argue with that. That's why we're matching tonight's prize money with a $5,000 donation to Fountain House with our best regards. Yee yee. Okay, so I got some shout outs. I wrote one in my phone. Uh, Melissa and Ed, ha <laughs> ha! Happy anniversary, babies! Yeah! Happy birthday, Jack! Uh, Robbie in Ohio, who turned 34 today. Yep, and uh, somebody I met in person at a gig recently. Tony, what up, dog? Yeah! Tony's having a birthday today too. And if I missed you, uh, send it, send me a shout out like the day before. If you send it right before I go live, I'm, I, ah! You can't send it while I'm about to ask the first question because I don't know. Uh, okay, it's not like I'm looking at my phone right now. Let's hop on this trivia truck and deliver some questions. Everybody ready? I'm ready, let's do this. Question number one. What restaurant chain is noted for seafood dishes and Cheddar Bay biscuits? Red Lobster, Dead Mobster, or Kebab Skewer? What's it gonna be? Locking those answers, let's go. All right, two of these sound like, you know, decent places to eat, but if I was in the mood for seafood, I'd take my business to Red Lobster, you know what I'm saying? If you answer good, I'd take you all to Red Lobster. Cause I slay, I slay, yeah. 91,768, got it right, Cheddar Bay, baby, Cheddar Bay, baby. <laughs> Question number two, which of these cities is nearest to the state of Texas? Istanbul, Honolulu, or Oklahoma City? What's it gonna be? All right, geography can be tricky, but a good starting point for U.S. geography is that Honolulu is so far west, it makes Texas look like Boston. But the Lone Star State sits right under Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. Ooh, yes, and just like a tumbleweed, 90,181 of y'all are rolling on to Q3. Let's go to work. Q3, here we go. What cartoonist created Calvin and Hobbes, Charles Schultz, Bill Watterson or Gary Trudeau? Who is it gonna be? Three of the heavyweights of newspaper strips are up there, okay? But mixed in amid the creators of Peanuts and Doonesbury is our correct answer. The brilliant but reclusive Bill Watterson. If you pick Bill, you're closer to some bills right about now. Bills, bills, bills. Can you pay my bills? Can you pay my trivia bills? Maybe, if you, if you answer all the questions right. Yeah, sure, why not? Of course. 58,000 of you moving on to Q4, let's go. Which of these was a battle in World War II? Battle of Big Bethel, Battle of Tarawa, or First Battle of Ypres? All right, there are too many battles in human history for anybody to keep track of. And those choices include battles from the Civil War and World War I. Uh, yeah, but if you know Tarawa is the capital of Kiribati, the Pacific Theater might lead you to World War II, babies. Battle of Tarawa, 39,778. Got it right, you're fighting through these questions. It's a battle of your brain. Question number five, for the children. Ah, 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 question five, question five. Ah, 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 question five, ah, yeah. It's for the children, y'all. Okay, here we go. Q5. Which fabric is made of wool? Denim, taffeta, or tweed? What's it gonna be? All right, you might not know these if you haven't worked in the textile industry, but taffeta 
is made of lightweight materials like silk. And denim comes to us courtesy of cotton. But you gotta thank a sheep for that tweed jacket, baby. Bah! Ooh, yeah! 42,866 of you are grazing like a mighty sheep. On to question number six! Nom nom nom! That's my sheep sound. Here we go! Q6. Ludo is a tabletop game resembling what brand name game? Connect Four, Jenga, or Sorry? Ludo. I know this one. Ludo was a brand name itself for over a century ago, uh, but made its way into general usage for a range of games, going back to the ancient Indian game of Parcheesi, which also inspired Parker Brothers' Sorry. Sorry, you get me, I'll get you back. Remember that? That was a... 19,191, got it right. I'm not sorry. Is it too late now to say Q7? <laughs> Oh yeah, question number seven, y'all. But before we get there, you got to wash your hands. Sanitizer break, sanitizer break, woo, sanitizer break, give it to me. Sanitizer break, so clean. Okay, Q7. Which Muppet never appeared on the original Muppet Show? Pepe the King Prawn, Rolf the dog, or Sam the eagle? Y'all got this. I believe in you. The wild and wacky menagerie of characters on the 1970s Muppet Show included animals and humanoids and, and uh, who knows what's. But although he's established himself as a core Muppet character today, Pepe didn't debut until 1996. Uh, did you know that? Yeah, you did. 19,429 of y'all got it right. Pepe the king prawn, y'all. That's the answer I was looking for. Question number eight. Hope you're feeling great. I am. Here we go. Whose NBA team has an equine mascot? Detroit, Portland, or San Antonio? An equine mascot. Who is it going to be? We planted in a little trick here. Wouldn't you think the Spurs would be most likely to have a horse? No, they have a coyote. Creatively named the Coyote. Weirdly, the mascot for the Pistons is one of those horses I guess Detroit is famous for. It's because Pistons are part of a car and Detroit makes a lot of cars and, you know, horsepower. I just made that up. Detroit! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's a savage AF question. Ooh. Yow! <laughs> 9,433 got it right, Detroit, baby! Here we go, Q9, let's go. Which of these is a simile? Life is but a dream, nectar of the gods, or run like the wind? A simile. Y'all know what a simile is, right? I hope so, because then you, you got it right, if you knew. But if you didn't, I'm about to tell you. A simile compares two things while realizing they're not the same, okay? Life isn't a dream, so calling it one is a metaphor. But admitting that fast running is only like the wind, now that's a simile. 11,317 got it right, and you are breezing much like the wind does. <laughs> Question number 10. Time to get it in, my friends. Here we go. Which of these chords? can only be played, can be played on a piano without striking a black key. B minor sixth, E minor seventh, or G augmented. Looking for a chord that can be played on a piano without striking a black key. All right, you can sort of get by without the black keys if you play strictly in the key of C and keep it boring. And one of the chords you can hit is the E, G, B, and D that make up E minor seventh. All right, 7,357 got it right. E minor seventh. That's the one. Dun, dun, dun. I can't, I don't even know what it sounds like in my head. Question 11, all dogs go to heaven. Let's get it. All righty. What taxonomic domain does fungus belong to? Eukaryote, eukaryote, prokaryote, or <laughs> archezoa? That's a tricky one. Just got stuck on the tongue there. 
<laughs> eukaryote, prokaryote, or archozoa? All right, we once asked this question about humans, right? And it turned out that you and I are eukaryotes. Yeah, with cells that have a nucleus. And wouldn't you know, we're closer to mushrooms than you might have guessed. Fungi are eukaryotes as well. Two. They are two as well. 5,968 of y'all are fun guys and gals. <laughs> Moving on to the final question of the night. Let's go! It's the final question. For all the marbles, $5,000 to be exact. Let's focus! Here it is. Q12. The original voice of Disney's Rue appeared much later in what Disney film? Mary Poppins Returns, Solo, A Star Wars Story, or Aladdin 2019? The original voice of Disney's Rue. Okay, I guess Disney appreciates loyalty because the 1960s voice of Rue from the Winnie the Pooh cartoons was still acting for them a half a century later. But for Clint Howard, it was, you know, it probably helped that his brother was the director of Solo. We have 1,923 winners of HQ Trivia. Let's get it! <laughs> I chimed in with the savage you quizzes ever heard of. Now we're at question four. Now oh, I can I can try that tomorrow. Congratulations, 1,923 players. Petra Muller, Dennis Che, DiCoco87, Pat Pierce, Rimidim, <laughs> Dean Hale, Chipapal, Chipapal. That's a fun name to say. You're all $2.60 richer. Facts. It is lit. It's pretty lit. Pretty, pretty lit. Congratulations, everybody. That's the way we do it every time we HQ it, okay? If you enjoyed yourself, we of course do this every night at the same time. I'm Money Flippin' Matt Richards, your boy. And this is how I'm gonna sign off. I wish people could learn to let, and then I could have them. <laughs>